Thank you. So first of all, we would like to extend an appreciation to Exabytes for actually organizing this sharing digital platform. And uh, my role here today is very simple. It's just to enlighten your mind about the art and design industry. Now, in art and design, there's a lot of different fields. A lot of people think art is just something that you do as a hobby about the future in this um, industry. And it's a very global market, actually. Okay, now, before I start, I would like to show uh, some of our students' work first. So let me know if the video is not working, uh, CK. So these are all our students' showcase for different programs. Okay, so as an art and design, and later I will go through one by one on what is the difference and what is the career aspects for all of the majors. Before that, let me show you some of our um, milestones in the One Academy as we have been established for almost 30 years. The One Academy has made it. And put it slow. Smart in international creative education through momentous global and national achievements. And this time was no different. Starting an ambitious year, we opened the doors to the One Academy's campus, which hosts 150 million ringgits worth of technologies and amenities. This is in line with our belief that the best facilities and the best educators nurture the best students. In addition to this milestone, 2019 was indeed rewarding as we saw to numerous record-breaking accomplishments. Canada, Australia, Sweden, Belgium, France, and more we achieved numerous ranks under the best art schools in the world category by the Rookies International. The world's most respected ranking platform, featuring a judging panel of over 120 highly distinguished industry experts from renowned global agencies and more, including winners of the Oscars. We are ranked as world's number one best concept art and illustration school world's number four best 3D motion graphics school, world's number four best architectural visualization school, world's number 10 best game design school, world's number 11 school for animation program by Animation Career Review USA. The One Academy has further cemented its position locally with recent achievements in the Can Chill Awards 2019. The largest and most prestigious annual advertising awards we saw to an astounding 99 awards being brought home by our students and lecturers. Winning Creative School of the Year Award for two years running, Idea of the Year Award, Student of the Year Award, Lecturer of the Year Award, 12 Gold Awards and many more. Capping out our fruitful year was winning the Education Excellence Awards, strengthening the One Academy's continuous ascent in tertiary education 
as the best creative education leader in the private colleges and universities category in Malaysia. Since 1991, the One Academy has been a leader in nurturing creative talents with its signature teaching philosophy, Masters Train Masters, featuring world-class masters who empower creative youth for global achievements. We aim to continue empowering creative youths and reach greater heights in creative education as one of the world's number one art schools. In this short video, you're able to understand a little bit better about the One Academy. I'm going to start off with our strong teaching philosophy, which is Masters Train Masters. Now, the concept behind this is to bring in the best industry players, the best industry names, to coach and to guide our future uh, masters, which are our current students. Now, we would like to introduce a few of our elite faculty team, one of which is uh, Mr. Andrew Gordon. He is a Pixar director from um, Pixar Animation. We also have Eduardo Pena, which is a concept artist for The Hobbits 1, 2, and 3. And there's a lot of different masters and program leaders as well, such as Mr. Uh, Chiang Lin Yu for our digital media design department, and also Ms., uh, Dr. Eric Leung for the uh, interior design department as well. And besides that, we also have a lot of different creative industry lecturers, whereby from big companies such as Ubisoft, Industrial Light and Magic, DreamWorks Studios, Illumination of their individual industry, which is from animation or illustration, interior design, multimedia, advertising, and so on and so forth. Now, the reason why we bring in the industry players is because we want them to guide our students before they graduate so students are able to learn more about the industry before they step into the real world and here in the one academy we do offer international diplomas degree and master's program uh, for international diploma we have eight different programs one of it uh, is such as advertising and graphic design digital media design digital animation film visual effects illustration, interior design, fine arts, and ESMA Paris fashion design and pattern making program. As for degree program, we have three, which is Bachelor of Interior uh, Interactive Media Design, Bachelor of Graphic Design, and Bachelor of Interior Architecture and Design. Okay, in the One Academy, we have a few partner universities, such as Hertfordshire. We also partner with DigiPen, which is the world's first game engineering and game development institution and we also partner with ASMOD. ASMOD is the world's first fashion school in the world and it's been around for 175 years in history. Okay and besides that we also have a uh, we also have many affiliated universities across uh, four continents which is in US, Australia, New Zealand, and the UK. So students, after completing their diploma program, they are able to further studies to degree after that in overseas. All right, now let me start off with uh, our programs. First of all, we'll be from digital animation program. I'm sure a lot of students actually like to watch movies or they like to play games at home, right? Now MCO, there's nothing much to do. So definitely students will opt to go for uh, entertainment all right so the 3d modeling and game art let me show you some of our students work for animation Okay, so for animation in a group, all right, so just now that you have seen, those are all our students' work. Uh, 
from what they have learned for the past three years. Now here, I would like to introduce some of our questions. Sometimes when you watch movies, right, you see the movies very touching, it's very fun, but you don't really realize who is behind the movies. Now there's actually a lot of Malaysian. Some of it is even our graduates from the one academy that's working in the production. Okay, besides Andrea, we also have Chun Xiong. Now, Chun Xiong is currently working in Hydrolux in Vancouver. He is involved in all these movies that you see at the bottom. Now, animation, you don't just learn about 3D animation such as Frozen or Coco. You can also do in movies and also in games. Games such as Counter-Strike, Assassin's Creed. These are all 3D games that animators graduate can also work in that industry. All right, next, I would like to move on to another entertainment sector, which is film visual effects, whereby it comprises of photorealistic effects, live action, and camera match moves. Let me start you off with the video. So these are all photorealistic visuals whereby normally a movie when they are shooting in a green screen studio or even a fake environment they will bring back the footages to the studios and this is where visual effects um, animators need to put in all these realistic effects. So movies that you see such as Avengers or Thor, Avatar, these are all movies that need uh, visual effects animators to do the production. Alright, so visual effects might look very cool, but students need to put in a lot of dedication and they also need to put in a lot of time and patience to create these effects. I would like to introduce one of our graduates. His name is Nicholas Craig. He's currently working in Singapore, Industrial Light and Magic. Uh, I'm sure you have not heard of this company before, but you've definitely seen movies like Transformers or Pacific Rim. Alright, these are all companies that visual effects uh, Production is actually done by ILM, Industrial Light and Magic. Now, Nicholas is only 32 years old and he has been working in Blockbuster, Superman, World of Warcraft, etc. So these are all movies that even Malaysians, they are able to be involved in. So it, now movie and game is all global, all right? It's not just made in US alone, but there's a lot of countries that actually does movie and game productions. A final sector in entertainment will be the illustration program. So students that like to draw, they like to illustrate, maybe they want to draw movie art or they want to draw game art. This is a very good industry for them in illustration program. These are some of our students' work. Okay, now we call illustrators as concept artists because they are the one who actually comes up with the concept before a movie or game production. Now, some of the graduates that we have, number one is 
Cheng Fei. Cheng Fei is actually a CEO and founder of Lemon Sky. Now, Lemon Sky have been in the industry for almost 20 years already. And if you can see at your top right, these are some of the game companies that you, you've played the games before, right? They are actually um, in partnership with Lemon Sky Animation Studio. All right, and some of the games produced by Lemon Sky. Have you heard of Uncharted, The Long End, Gears of War 4 and 5, Invert Final Fantasy? Now, besides Lemon Sky, by the way, Lemon Sky is based in Malaysia. Okay, and we also have Passion Republic, also based in Malaysia, founded by our graduate as well. His name is Akshar. Now, some of the games produced by Passion Republic, have you heard of Leaks of Legend? LOL. Yeah, so Leaks of Legend is also, uh, they have been in the production for that game. And they, they also did Uncharted 4 okay, and Years of War 4 and 5 as well. Now, a lot of games company, they don't just produce Malaysian games, okay? But they have key clients from different countries such as US, Japan, Korea, Singapore, and Hong Kong. Because game company, it's a global company, all right? It's a global industry. And besides entertainment industry, which is the one that I mentioned earlier, we have the commercial industry as well. In commercial industry, one of them is digital media design, whereby you learn about new media, you learn about creative technology. These are also our students' work. So in digital media design, you can learn about a lot of different things such as interactive games, all right, mobile apps, you can learn about motion graphics, even virtual reality. So if you have a dream to create your own game, your own characters, your own environment, you can actually be part of the digital media team and create your own games from there. One of our graduates, his name is Peng Li Wei. All right, he is a founder of Kurechi Studios. Uh, you can actually online and search for Kurechi. He is an independent company and they have a government grant. They won government grant twice just to develop games. Now, some of the games that they have developed is such as King's League, Post Night, also 10 million downloads, and they also did Tiny Guardians, all right, with more than 14 million downloads worldwide. So besides Yiwei, we also have Shenkai. So Shenkai is more into um, commercial industry where he worked with brands such as Jaguar, Audi, Nike, Mazda, whereby they actually do, uh, they can do a lot of different things such as car launching events, all right, installations, events, any type that, in, that involves maybe projection mapping. All right, these are all very big terms, yes, I know. But in the end of the day, this is what the industry needs, okay? Now, besides digital media, they also work closely with graphic designers. In here, graphic designer is a very fun program because you get to do creativity communication. You do branding, you do packaging designing, and there's a lot of different things to learn in graphic design. You can see in this video, students work. Packaging designing. So you play around with the fonts, with colors, with typographies, all right, to attract people's attention. You also need to learn about branding as well in this program. is so fun because you get to play around with different colors all right you get to try different type of design just to bring out your message uh, some of our graduate one of it is uh tan chi king in china with big companies such as uh, adidas nike uh, pizza hut dell coca-cola and he's actually ranked as world number four creative director in the world now besides that we also have kelly wong also based in china also working with big companies such as the ones that you see on the screen now, Nike, Adidas, Unilever. Okay, so art and design, graphic design, there is no boundaries, okay? Because every company will need to have a graphic designer because they will want to sell their products, right? They want to, they want to sell their, their packaging. These are all 
created by graphic designers. And besides that, under the commercial industry, we also have interior designing. Let me show you this video. In interior design, you actually learn about various uh, space designing, such as you learn about residential, you learn about commercial uh, areas, you can create, you can design hotels, you can design restaurants, cafe, uh, you can even design airports. So these are all a 3D uh, work of our students and some of our graduate. One of it is Kai Leong. He is currently a managing director of Wings Studio. He founded the company five years ago and has been working with multiple international clients, such as in Vietnam and from UK as well. As you can see in the bottom, those are some of his artwork. And besides Kai Leong, we also have Ken Yong. Now, Ken Yong is a bit different. He actually designs airport. And besides airport, he also worked with projects such as Sofo, Bukit Bintang, Gamuda Walk, KPJ Hospital, and so on. So interior design, you can actually work in various fields, not just in commercial ones. You can, you can design hospitals, you can design your own house, your own room, right, to whatever themes that you want. And last but not least, we have fashion design. Now, this program is a bit different because we partner with ASMOD Paris. Like I mentioned, they have 175 years of history. So in fashion, you learn about fashion design, definitely, and pattern making as well. This is our fashion show. Okay, so in fashion design, you learn about men's wear and women's wear. You also learn about four seasons clothing as well. Now, one of our graduates, his name is Scott Tian. He's actually a Golden Needle Award recipient uh, previously in 2015. He is currently holding a scholarship to pursue his degree studies in Asmod Paris. Okay, and he actually had job offers from companies like Burberry, Loewe, King's Lager, but he actually rejected <laughs> their job offers and he pursued a degree program instead during his uh, recipient time. Together, these are some of his work. And besides Scott, we also have Aaron Yong. So he's a finalist for Harper's Bazaar New Generation Fashion Design Award. And these are some of his artwork. I'm sure you've seen in the fashion show just now, some of the artwork uh, portfolio, they do look a bit complicated because these are all high fashion. So if you're able to do complicated designs with the right techniques, with the right textiles, you are definitely able to do more simplified, more mass production uh, clothings in the future. Okay, so one thing you need to know about art and design, it's no longer just a hobby. It's no longer just what you do at home. All right, you can make this into a lucrative career in the future. Just for your information, in the creative and cultural industry, it's employing nearly 30 million people and it's generating a global revenue of more than 2 trillion USD. So definitely now it's time to transform yourself to join this high rewarding career path. Within six months of their employment, 100% of them are employed. Right? This is a very important statistics because uh, contrary to popular belief, right, a lot of people think that art and design, they're not able to find jobs. Right? I'm sure some of your parents might have this uh, worry, but as you can see, the live testimonies just now from all the different graduates, they are all working in the pathway that they like, in the industry that they love. Right? These are just some of our uh, alumni everywhere in the world. So they're not just based in Malaysia. Some of them are in Canada and in Australia, UK, everywhere in the world pursuing their dreams. Okay, I think I still have a little bit time. 
I'm going to show you our facility. Now, we are located in Bandar Sunway, uh, Selangor. We also have another branch in Penang. All right, let me show you this. And this is our campus. Feel free to drop by, of course, after MCO. <laughs> Alright, feel free to drop by. Uh, if you wish to have a more detailed consultation, you can actually contact me. My number is at the bottom. Or you can log on to our website and please stay connected with us via YouTube or social media. Alright, on and off, we will post a lot of different postings and students' work as well. Now, if you wish to have a more personalized, uh, maybe you're shy to ask some questions here, no problem, you can just WhatsApp me. Okay, now, uh, this is to you, CK. Hi, thank you. Thanks for the sharing, um, Miss uh, Marvin. Okay, it's a great presentation, okay. Now, at least I now I understand that why you said that it's actually uh, the terms that all your graduates are looking the graduate all to become entrepreneurs. I can understand yeah. now, right? You're trying to Not show us that all <laughs> <laughs> those that we show so far, they are running their own businesses. They are, yes. they are in overseas. They are big. They work for big they, Sorry, they don't work. Actually, they have contract. They actually have jobs from the multinational company. Am I right? right. Or they, they can even freelance. Working. Yeah, a lot of them are freelance with yeah. all these multinational companies. So they are entrepreneurs by themselves, but they are taking working very closely with all these multinational company and Correct. doing big firm all those kind of things they are really entrepreneurs that I, I now I understand about <laughs> the terms that you use you didn't mention about the intake what's your intake uh, Marvin um, okay we have three intakes for diploma and one intake for degree so diploma yeah. we have on January April yeah. and August okay yeah, April, so you just remember okay. every four months. Yeah, every four right. months. So January, April intake kick off? Has your April intake kick off? Uh, tented, yeah, so we mm -hmm. students who are interested, they can still yeah. come and register. So during yeah. this time, they can still ask inquiries and we are very happy to answer them. So you you you, you started your, your, your intake in April, even though despite the MCO, everything? Did you uh, no, program? we have not started our April intake. We are tentatively planning to start in June, early June. Oh. 
Okay, so you defer your intake from April, you defer to June now? Yeah, postpone it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, if, mm. if let's say, I'm not sure, I'm not sure the MCO will be lifted by June. If let's say it's not lifted in June, will, will the one academy thinking of going for virtual learning? Because some, some colleges that I talked to them for in these two days, they, a lot of them, they actually go for virtual orientation, virtual learning. Will the yeah. one academy be doing that? Mm. The thing is, for art and design, it's a bit complicated because art yeah. and design, we are not a theory-based learning. Yeah, yeah, we are not able to tell you what is orange uh, or what is green color. Yeah, we need to show you, we need to guide you. And most of the students that join us, actually they are not very good in drawing yet. Ah, so there's another question I want to ask. If a students who don't draw, okay, mm. who do the mm. portfolio, can they mm. come into the World Academy? Definitely, we welcome them with open hands. They can okay. still join. <laughs> they can still join. And we uh -huh. actually teach all students from zero. So regardless if students have a very strong or weak fundamentals in drawing, we start yeah. off all students by the basics first. Ah, yeah. So because so that's, good. Be, that's good. That's good to know that because some program there is a prerequisite. Even some art school they will ask to submit portfolio before they actually look into your result. So for one, the one academy, as long as the result is met, that for three credit, five credit, or whatsoever, then. Mm you encourage them to come and then you start from scratch even though a person like me who never draw before <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, it's okay, no right. problem yeah as long as you hit the entry requirement uh we mm. do welcome students but yes we also require students to submit their portfolio but that portfolio is not to reject students all right mm. or to accept students uh it's for our and help better if some students maybe they are weaker in figure studies or they are weaker in still life we are able yeah. to help them better. Ah, I see. That's mm. good to know that. All right. Yeah, I, I don't see any questions yet, so I can ask more questions. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, last, I'm the last presenter, so feel free to yeah, take yeah. Well, no, we, we still have We still have to go through panel discussion. Just want to keep on the timing. Then, uh, okay. who knows? <laughs> Later, sometimes I'm not sure. Uh, they are a bit shy. They don't ask. So then after yeah. that, a lot of them will contact you because you left your WhatsApp there. Don't be surprised that people yeah. will be starting to WhatsApp you later. <laughs> Let me see now. <laughs> 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 because none of them they left behind their food, food contact number for WhatsApp except you, you see. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, don't, uh, okay, because because during this pandemic we'll be talking about all these things that whereby you can't start your even like for example, you can't start your courses now because of the, the FCO or the something. Uh, yeah. uh, and the program is so unique that they actually work from home. I believe that for example, all these creative directors, all these people, they're not losing their job and then they're still working from home. I believe that your graduates are here, wherever they, they are in the world. So this this program is uh, whatever they study, the profession is very flexible probably you want to talk about a little bit with share with us on that yeah actually so before yeah. even mco is um mco is here actually a yeah. lot of art and design is all online already yeah okay. even from five years ten years ago those are actually online and there's a lot of digital platform whereby you don't even need to meet up with the clients but they all do it via video conferencing and they just yeah. give you the project brief once you're done with your artwork you send it to them yeah so you don't need a physical touch for art and design but you do need to understand the brief. You need to understand what is the project that is given. Yeah, so these are all uh, details. But yes, with MCO, without MCO, life still goes on. So art and design, we don't uh, limit ourselves from physical uh, appearance. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm. So I'm curious that some of your graduate movies, uh, do they uh, start their own business, some of them? Or what, what is the trend now? Or they go actually uh, go and work for people? Just want to know a bit of maybe um, presenting families, yeah? from themselves, all right, as an entrepreneur, because you need to know the industry first. So in the one academy mm -hmm. for three years, four years, you study the tools on how to survive in the working industry, right? You learn the softwares, okay. you learn the knowledge. But when you are oh. in the industry, you work with a team because there is no design that only works alone. Everything is yeah. by a team. Yeah, so even you want to produce your own game, you need a team of people to do that. Yeah, so that's why once you graduate, it's encouraged to work in a company first to gain experience, to gain networking even. And after that, when you're strong enough, you can do your own business when your name is there already, when people recognize you, right? Like yeah. CK Chow, okay, I know you're very good in your work. I know you are very talented in terms of drawing, yeah. So once I have a new, yeah, once I have a new movie that I know that, okay, I can use CK. So I will contact you. you you may be a freelancer. Yeah, I think that's interesting about in creative, uh, sorry, creative and art and design industry. There's something very unique whereby if you, if you build up and then anywhere you can survive that, that people will contact yes. you. Am I right? 
Yeah. You just it? need the right tools. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I right always tool, tell my right? students that, you know, studying art and design, it's like to a wall. You cannot go to a wall without your equipments. You cannot go to a wall without knowledge. You know, just, just go and die, man. Cannot, my right? Yeah, yeah, so that's cool, why, yeah. So that's why before you go um wall, you need to learn all these tools first. Same before mm -hmm. you go into the industry, you cannot just go blindly, you know. Mm -hmm. I cannot just learn 20% of the knowledge, then you, you feel that, oh, I'm ready. That's why you need to be really ready here. Equip yourself, strengthen your knowledge first, then you move out to the industry. Okay, okay. All right. Now, this last question, because of this COVID-19, which I asked quite a lot of our colleges uh, over the last uh, uh, these two days as well, mm -hmm. about, uh, about the payment, because during this period, some of the parents, especially creative and arts, is not is is it's not a it's a program that is very costly. Am I right? Because of the mm -hmm. equipment that involved the value, sometimes the material, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. isn't it? sometimes it could be a bit cost because of buying material, all those kind of things. So in terms of the tuition fees wise, uh, is the one academy uh, perhaps uh, coming up with some scheme that do because of this COVID nineteen that uh, students are allowed to pay by installment or something like that, uh, so that parents are here when they hear that, at least they find that, oh, okay, uh, the one academy is actually having an uh, uh, installment payment or even some additional uh, scholarship for the students. Do, do we have mm -hmm. this? Uh, this? Uh, so far, we don't have because we want to maintain the quality teaching as well. So okay. that's why, like you see in the presentations, we have a lot of different masters. Yeah, mm. so honestly, to get the masters in, it's also a, a, a budget there. Ma. So that's why I students... Know. in they are really looking at a uh, quality education. This is the uh, fees that they are paying. Lah. But of okay. course, we understand due to the virus, mm -hmm. there will be some difficulties. Uh, so uh, there is some financial aids that they are able to get, such as a uh, government loan, PPPTN, okay. all right? or they can also use uh, EPF, parents' EPF. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, Thank you so much. Thanks, Mavis, for the sharing today. All right, yeah, I... I wish to visit uh, the one academy new campus one day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for uh, coming to uh, give a sharing with us today. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy. All right. Thanks Thank you. Bye bye.